Hi, I desperately need a new pedal board. My old one just isn't cutting it anymore. It's been unchanged for over two years and I'm just missing some pedals. Let's build a new one, but first... So coincidentally, I recently got contacted by the Framus and Warwick company to try out some of their new line pedal boards called Rock Board. And this is what I'm working with today. So for the board I'm using a SYNC 5.2, which is a pretty big board. And I've got a whole bunch of cables and a power supply. The reason why I'm building this pedal board is that I got a real... Move it. The reason why I'm building this pedal board is that I got a real good idea of what pedals I really love using. Playing with the camper for over two years made me realize that sometimes I really miss the hands-on feeling that real pedals can give you. So what pedals am I working with? Let's find out. I'm facing some challenges. I want this build to be compatible with amps with or without an effects loop, just to make it as versatile as possible. So let's put the pedals I want to use on the board and find out if it even fits. So I've been using this chorus pedal for ages and I always convinced myself that it sounded pretty good. It has lots of character for sure, but actually I hate it. And now it's time, I'm gonna ditch it. I'm not putting it on my board. And as for the tremolo, I don't use it that often, but I wanna be able to use it. So that's why I decided to buy a new pedal that does it all. Quick unboxing montage. And this company from North Island called Ruach, I think, Ruach, sent me this amp juice, a pedal from wood, cherry wood, I believe, which I'm pretty excited about. So this is how I like it to be. First, I'm gonna mount the power supply and I'm using a rockboard power pit. Okay, new plan. The power pit by Rockboard doesn't support a 300 milliampere, which the Strymon Mobius and the Timeline need. So in conjunction with the power pit, I'm gonna rock the pedal power 4x4. But one big bonus about the power pit is that it can pass the current through. So I'm gonna use this input, then the power gets routed through the power pit, and then with another cable to this one. So I only need one power cable, which is a good thing. So let's do it. One thing I love about the Strymon pedals is that there are no foot pegs, so you can just put on the Velcro. I just made the news. So I also got a bunch of these cables, gold one, but they are really thin, it's pretty convenient for places like this. Everything is pretty cramped up, but it fits perfectly. So what's pretty cool about this board is that you can run every cable, every power cable or patch cable underneath the board because there are so many holes. It looks very clean.
Okay, so I think the pedal board is close to finished. And this is what it is. It looks pretty clean, I'm pretty happy with it. So a cool feature about this board is this. There are multiple variations, but I got this one. What I do is as follows. If I play with an FX loop, I pull this cable out, output A goes to my amp, FX loop in, FX loop out. So let's find out if it sounds any good. So now we're looking at my pedal board in full glory. So first let's discuss the drive sounds. The first pedal in the chain, the Klon KTR. In this case, just adding a hair of drive to the sound. So this is the clean sound. So just to beef it up a little bit. Lovely sound. Okay, next up in the chain is the Vemiram Janray. A very nice, um, pretty transparent overdrive pedal. Ooh, I love that sound. So this is my main overdrive sound. So you can turn up the gain. It's a real versatile pedal. This one works really nice as well, just uh, as a full overdrive pedal. So one great thing to be doing with a board like this is stacking the overdrive pedals. So if I turn on the Klan and the Vemuron, so just a Vemuron like this, pretty cleanish. Um, the clan alone, really clean, but together they boost each other up. They make a real great overdrive sound. Love that sound. Okay, next up the T-Rex Mud Honey. Um, dialed in as a pretty heavy overdrive. great overdrive sound. And last up in the chain, the Mercury Box. I'm not too sure about this pedal for my board at the moment because three overdrives tend to be enough. Um, but I use it all the time for lead sounds mostly with a little bit of delay. So next up in the chain is the MXR Super Comp, a compression pedal. So a compression pedal works lovely with like funky patterns. Add a little bit of drive. Turn it off. adds a little bit more of body to the sound. And also, um, it adds sustain to your sound when you've got a lead sound. Without. So the amp juice, the Ruok amp juice, I use that one as a solo boost right now. It adds a little bit of high end to the sound and it brings a level up just a tiny bit. Of course, depending on the settings, but this is how I use it as a solo boost. Lovely sound. So the Mobius, I really got it for the chorus sounds, the tremolo, um, the rotary, but it has one awesome feature, the destroyer sound. And it sounds like this. <laughs> So it adds a bandpass filter in this case, so no low end, no highs, just the middle. 
Um, it adds a vinyl crack to the sound, which you can turn off or turn louder, whatever. And a very cool feature. You can adjust the bit rate and the sample rate to really destroy the sound, which is awesome. Let me just show you. So let's try to add the whammy to this. Let's. So here we've got a classic delay, dotted 8 pattern. So now add a little bit of space to the sound from the Strymon Blue Sky. But there's more to the Mobius, for example, this lovely chorus sound. Yeah, chorus and one I really love, a rotary. Oh, one too high. So rotary is a Leslie speaker effect with a turning uh, tweeter. And if you press the tab button, it starts turning faster or slower. Real good, real good. So this is my new board. I hope you guys liked it. I think it's awesome. Um, I think every pedal is placed pretty conveniently. I can reach everything pretty easily. Um, so there's no problems in that. Super versatile from classic rock to spacey sound. Um, I love the looper on the timeline. Maybe I will switch the timeline and the reverb so I can record the reverb into the looper, which is a little bit more fun. But anyways, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, you'll see this board more often, I'm sure. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Cheers.